The following contest is a handicap match. Making her way to the ring from Germany, Lady Destroyer. We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE, about to take part in one of the most anticipated matches ever. knows how to get a reaction, and she'll get an even bigger one when she wins this match. They are ready for a fight. And her opponents. The WWE Universe already reaching a fever pitch upon their arrival, and we are just seconds away from a highly anticipated match. A 2-on-1 handicap match is underway. No rest for the superstar facing off against the numbers game. If I had a million dollars and could make any kind of match, it would be this. Two opponents at the same time, man. What are we going to see here? Oh, Well-placed knees to the hamstring. Every strike more devastating than the last. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. The sleeper is cinched in, and you try to escape. Him. It's a jawbreaker. And look at her feeding off the WWE Universe's energy. A handicap match can bring a host of challenges to the combatants. Corey, what is the thought process when competing in a match like this? Well, the numbers are in your favor. It's important to have whoever is on the apron cause distractions. Remind. Here we go. Oh God, that, that, that's a bad landing. Really thought that was gonna work, but now we got a human being we have to scrape off the floor. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. And she is feeling the electricity from the crowd now. No way. Somersault plunge out of the floor. No sign of hesitation, and that risk gained big rewards. She's rummaging around under the ring here. I guarantee that chair is not going to be used as it was designed for. Oh, vicious knee to the face. She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. She's into the ring again. Oh, no, I think we're going to see the electric chair. Nope. Rolling elbow right on the mark. Why is she still boasting around? She's in a fight, for goodness sake. I don't know what they're looking for here. Oh, man. Obviously hoping to take things to the next level with this ladder. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. With no count outs, there's nothing keeping her inside the ring. Oh, oh. oh yeah, she is really getting fired up. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Followed by a forearm smash. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Blast off. You gotta be kidding me. 
Adrenaline can make you do crazy things. Exhibit A right there. She knows what an important equalizer the kendo stick can be. Look at this, just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. She's able to get out of the way. And she slides her back to the mat. She slipped. Look at this. Oh, my. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Oh, my forearm smash. It's mounted with punches. And not, oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. She has to figure something out for this. Looks like she's having problems creating any of her own offense. And now she's getting back into the ring. This match may be nearing its limit. Not what you want to see by any means. Looking to crush the hamstring. Oh. Another one? Ooh. Hamstring crushing knee strikes. Repeated strikes. Practically never-ending blows. Coming at full force here. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Look at this, just unloading. Now oh, trampling the opposition. I think we'll need to find something else to put our trash in around the ring. Because I guarantee that can is going to get all bent out of shape. What athleticism. Brutal boot. To it, returning to the ring. On the move. Oh, a knee to the face. Moves outside. What's the plan here? for the moment.